N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M. Angioprim.com slash radio or call 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. When the stock market goes down, people lose money in their mutual funds and 401ks. But guess what? Some make money in down markets. If you've just taken another financial hit in this down market, learn how money is made in down markets. Call Online Trading Academy. Since 1997, Online Trading Academy has given classroom lessons on the right way to trade stocks, options, futures, and forex with limited risk. You'll learn with the school's money, not yours. Learn from pros who are certified, currently trade, and are profitable. They show you how they make trades every day. If you're tired of watching your money disappear in a down market, Register for a free half-day class to see how banks and institutions trade stocks, options, futures, and forex, and make money in upside ways and down markets. Free half-day classes in Broward and Palm Beach. Call Online Trading Academy now. 561 651-674-9800. 561-674-9800. 561-674-9800. AM 1470 WNN with more of what you need to know. Tune in for the Jill Dane Show Sundays at 3 p.m. on South Florida's Health and Wealth Network. AM 1470 WNN. One day, I'll teach chemistry to kids. I'm going to be an architect. My dream is to be a chef. This is a world of possibilities. A world in which people who put their minds to something can really make a difference. My goal is to help the environment. Someday I'll find a cure for cancer. At the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Federal Student Aid, we believe that aspiring minds can achieve anything. So we dedicate ourselves to making sure everyone has an opportunity to go to college. Each year, we provide more than $150 billion in grants, loans, and work-study funds, making higher education possible for anyone at any stage of life. I can go back to college. I can change careers. I can make a difference. Federal Student Aid, proud sponsor of the American Mind. Learn more about money for college at studentaid.gov. Staying healthy is difficult. What nutritional supplements should you take? What foods are best for you? What health practitioners should you see? You've got health questions, I've got health answers. From heartburn to hemorrhoids, pain to pimples, carpal tunnel to the common cold, gluten to gallbladder, and gingivitis, and all points in between. I'm Dr. Bob Martin. Tune in to my Sunday talk show at 10 o'clock on Talk 1470 WNN. I have a passion for the environment. That's why I mountain bike. I love being in the woods, on near vertical trails. I relish the challenge when I can appreciate the best nature has to offer. So it was only natural that I would choose a career in the elements where I can make a difference. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. We monitor commercial vessels, making sure our ports and waterways are safe and clean from oil or other hazardous material. We patrol our fisheries, protect marine wildlife and their habitats. With all we do, it's about protecting America. This is a lot like mountain biking. It's always exciting to navigate through the next challenge. Were you born ready to protect America, our environment, our resources, our people? Learn more at GoCoastGuard.com. Sponsored by the United States Coast Guard in cooperation with the Florida Association of Broadcasters and this station. This is Talk 1470. Talk 1470. WNN. For almost 10 years, I've been a lineman for the power company. It's hard work up here on the wires, long, dangerous hours. And at times like this, when storms roll through, I really appreciate how much people rely on me. I know that service is important. That's why I also serve in the Coast Guard Reserve. In the Coast Guard Reserve, our crews respond to rising floodwaters in the Midwest, oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico, and disasters like the Haiti earthquake. The Coast Guard Reserve is a challenge I gladly take on because my country needs me. It has a lot in common with my full-time career. And just like other first responders, firemen, police officers, and EMTs, we do our best work when things are their worst. I have no doubt I was born for this. If you were born ready to give more to your country, the Coast Guard Reserve is ready for you. Learn more at GoCoastGuard.com. 
Sponsored by the United States Coast Guard in cooperation with the Florida Association of Broadcasters and this station. The opinions expressed in the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show, the place to fine-tune your swing, dress for the course, club, or cruise, and get tips on the best places to play and stay at the right price. Vacation or staycation, host Dan Shube, along with his expert co-hosts and guests, will tell you where to go to play golf and vacation, that is. Now, here's Dan. Travel Show. I'm your host, Dan Shub, and tonight, like we usually do, we're going to talk some golf. We'll talk some travel. We'll have a good time. A uh, bunch of guests that I'll tell you about in a second. Uh, before I go any further, I just want to apologize in advance that my throat is not right, and if I cough, I'm sorry, but I did pick up that cold that uh, has been going around, and it'll probably get worse as the show goes on. So luckily, we do have some guests who can share the load with me and have some uh, insights and some uh, Commentary about some interesting topics uh, a little bit later in the show. We will be welcoming the CEO of a company called Ship Sticks. And just like the name sounds, they will ship your sticks or your clubs to wherever it is you want to play. Pick them up at your place, place of work, place where you live. Take them to that resort that you're playing at so that you do not have to schlep them from here to there. And uh, so their CEO, Nick Coleman, is going to be with us. It's a, a firm that's a uh, Palm Beach County firm, so uh, they're right here in our backyard. And um, they're having a real uh, success story, so we'll, we'll hear a little bit about that. And a little bit later in the show, uh, we will be talking about and uh, with a fellow by the name of Ned Jahar. And he is the chef and one of the proprietors of the Rusty Hook Restaurant in Pompano Beach, a place that I was fortunate to visit last night and taste some of their wonderful dishes and um, cocktails as well. And uh, if you would like to follow along, because uh, radio is not always as perfect a medium to talk about food, because it's kind of nice to see what it looks like. I did post photographs of all of the dishes and, and the cocktails that I had the opportunity to taste last night on our Facebook page. So, of course, you could find that at facebook.com forward slash the golf and travel show. And I do encourage you to do that. I apologize if you um, are jealous that I did have an opportunity to taste all of that, but bear with me because tonight we can all kind of suffer together because I never eat dinner before the show. So whenever we do talk about some tasty food, trust me, I'm salivating as well right, right there with you. So uh, later on in the show, like we always do, I do have some of Dan's deals for you on travel, some uh, very attractive uh, opportunities for you to get away and, and go check some things out. Some are a little uh, nearby and some are a little bit further away. And as we've been saying week after week, that this is a very, very good time for those of us who do like to travel. The uh, price of oil having plummeted has helped to reduce the cost of flying as well as the cost of driving or any kind of transportation, obviously, and also the favorable exchange rate. So, there's lots of good deals, so we'll talk about a few of them. Now, also, in the beginning of the show, we, we typically like to talk a little bit of golf talk. And um, keeping in line with that, I wanted to uh, speak about a story that's kind of close to my home. Excuse me, just take a sip of water there so I can speak. Um, and where I, I live uh, a little bit north of here on the Treasure Coast in uh, Martin County, and we do have a lot of excellent uh, golfers, young golfers, and um, many of them go on to uh, play in the pros. I do apologize. Um, so there was a, a young lady. Her name was Allie Bodeman. And uh, this is a story from a, a writer by the name of Craig Dolch, um, writes for uh, Treasure Coast uh, newspaper group, TCP. And... He um, writes about how uh, she made it to the LPGA Tour, played for a couple of years professionally. Unfortunately, right in my neighborhood, she got rear-ended in her car and uh, ruined a couple of her discs. 
and she couldn't play professionally any longer. So she decided that she wanted to become a teacher and got into the LPGA teaching profession and uh, kind of took to it really well and is enjoying herself. And as it turns out, what uh, might have been a disaster for this um, young phenom, because obviously to make it on the LPGA tour as a, a young woman, uh, it, it's not easy. And she just uh, won the Founders Award from the LPGA, which is a huge award. <coughs> um, excuse me, I'm all choked up about it. But um, uh, for her work with kids and her teaching, she was awarded this award at a very, very, very young age. And uh, she, her personality is such that she believes that this is her calling in life. And uh, um, how this all turned out was for the best. And just to hear a story about a young kid who, you know, has everything to be upset about, yet is doing something good in this world to teach other kids about the game that she loves and is just so uh, thrilled to be involved in the game still that she's not angry. <coughs> Excuse me. I, sh I should be angry the way I feel. Um, but she, she's all she wants to do is give something back and uh, still showing an appreciation for the golf, that, uh, the sport of golf that she loves. And um, her feeling is, is that if she can impart this into all of these children, she, she's doing a, a far bigger thing than uh, she ever could do by playing just uh, on the LPGA Tour. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, also, I wanted to remind everybody that coming up just around the corner, uh, the first week in February, February 1 through 7, is the Allianz Championship. And uh, we did have their tournament director on the show a couple of weeks ago. And I just wanted to remind everybody about it. If you're local, I certainly think you should go out there and support it. If you're not local, if you want to come and uh, vacation here with us in South Florida, um, this event, the Allianz Championship, is on the Champions Tour. So some of the best golfers in the world. Um, many uh, past champions of this event will be in again. People like Tom Lehman, um, who I, actually I was invited to play with uh, in a week or two, but I, I can't make it, unfortunately. How, how strange is that? Um, Bernhard Langer, who is uh, really, really strong on this Champions Tour. He is always up there at the top. Corey Pavin, Nick Price, Colin Montgomery, Mark O'Meara, Tom Kite, Ben Crenshaw, Jesper Parnovic, who's a, a rookie on the tour this year. So uh, that'll be his first time playing in this event. So when you go out to the Champions Tour, you have an opportunity to get very, very close with some of the greatest uh, who have ever played the sport. And um, having it right here in your backyard is, is kind of a rare opportunity. And, if, of course, if we don't support these events, then they go away and we wonder why. But uh, they do need to get people to go. And keep in mind also that all of the money that um, they charge for the tickets for, for any golf tour typically goes to local charities. And uh, there are several, several very, very uh, deserving charities in our community here in Boca Raton that benefit um, most uh, – Prominently, the Boca Raton Regional Hospital, which, of course, is extremely important to our community. Now, you can get into this event. General admission, really inexpensive. It's only $20 uh, for a ticket. And um, uh, they also, <coughs> excuse me, they also have premium packages where you could get VIP and uh, Skybox. And they range from about $50 to $150. So, um, depending on how you want to go, there's many, many different options, uh, but all of them good. None of them are bad. So if you would like to get more information and uh, uh, find out how you can get tickets and, and see all the different packages that are available for the upgrades, you could go to AllianceChampionship.com. That's A-L-L-I-A-N-Z Championship.com. Make sure you spell that correctly. I did that once. Um, also keep in mind that practice round tickets Monday through Thursday are totally free. And um, also uh, the um, uh, regular events are also free for children 17 and under and adults 70 and older. So, um, again, that would be AllianceChampionship.com, and that's where you can find out more information. So I'll, you know, keep reminding everybody about these local uh, tour events. You know, in, in um, Palm Beach County, we only have this one. Um, and then, of course, we have the the uh, Honda up um, in Palm Beach Gardens, which I'll be talking about soon as well. That's uh, going to be taking place a little bit later in February. And obviously, that's where the, the big boys play, the, the regular PGA Tour. And that's one of the best events that they have all year on the tour. So um, 
very soon we'll start talking about that as well, and, and maybe we'll see if we could get the director from that um, tournament to come onto the show and, and talk a little bit as well, too. Um, that's what I have for golf today. Uh, we may have some deals that include golf a little bit later in the show. We'll, we'll keep that a secret. But I do have a couple of travel stories and some other travel news that I would like to share with everybody as well. And um, I'm on my way to, to Las Vegas again. I'm going to be like living in Las Vegas uh, in the near future. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm, I just have to be there a lot. Uh, people sometimes uh, question whether I'm really working or, um, or not, but I am. Um, but one of the things that you encounter out in Las Vegas that you might find a little bit surprising if you don't visit Las Vegas often is the resort uh, fees. And uh, they've become extremely popular. Almost every single hotel out in Las Vegas has them. And they don't even have to be a resort to have them either. And I, w I was reading a story uh, written um, uh, by Lauren Young and uh, this um, out of New York. And she, she was interviewing a fellow, a travel expert by the name of Tin Wimship. And he considers himself a budget-conscious expert on travel. He's the editor of large of SmarterTravel.com. And he wasn't as familiar with these mandatory resort fees. And he was a little upset. He stayed at the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas, and it was about $30 a day for his resort fee. And he was questioning, is this even a resort? And he was there in the winter. He was being charged to use the pool. It was too cold to use the pool. He was being charged for many other services that he never uses. And he just kind of was upset by it. And it seems that this is a trend in uh, the United States, not just in Las Vegas, about 7% of all hotels these days have resort fees now. They average uh, a little over $20, all, although um, in other places they could be as much as 29 or over 30 It seems that in Florida they're amongst the highest with an average of over $29 a day, um, a little bit higher on average even than Las Vegas. I was a little surprised to hear that as well. Uh, like I say, out in Las Vegas, I'm expecting to pay $32, although I have to say that I, I was looking for a budget deal on a trip that I'm doing where I'm only going to be staying in Las Vegas for about 14 hours, and I just needed kind of a place to lay my head. And I booked a deal at the Flamingo Hotel, older property, not the fanciest, you know, may need a bit of a refurb, but I found a price of $27 a night for the um, hotel room. The resort fee was twenty seven fifty, so that was a new one on me where the resort fee was actually more than the price that they quoted for the hotel. And I have to say that um, some government uh, agencies uh, like the FTC are looking into this, that maybe they think it's deceptive advertising, and there may come a time in the near future where uh, these properties will be forced to uh, tell you the you know include the resort fee in the total price so that it's it's not so deceptive so we'll see what direction that's going but as i always try and explain to everybody every week buyer beware whatever number you see is great it might get your attention but look at all the extras the add-ons the taxes the fees add it all together when you get your bottom line number that's the number that you're going to pay that's the number you should get used to and that's what you should use to compare to any other opportunities that you might have all right, what we're going to do is we are going to take a quick break, and then uh, we're going to be talking about how to get your sticks, your clubs, to that resort that you're going to go to. Hopefully that's truly a resort that has a golf course there so that you can play a little bit of golf. Um, so we'll be talking uh, to Nick Coleman, the CEO from Ship Sticks. Uh, so stay tuned. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. We are back. Time for a quick message from our sponsor, and that would be Labor Finders. If your business needs industrial workers or if you're looking for work, you got to call Labor Finders because Labor Finders places for temporary or for temporary to hire opportunities for skilled, semi-skilled, or general labor positions such as plumbers, electricians, concrete workers, forklift operators, office clerical workers, and so much more. Labor Finders has almost 200 offices nationwide. 
near here in Boca Raton. They have offices in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Jupiter. So if you need legal, insured, hard workers, or if you want to work hard, call Labor Finders toll-free at 800-864-7749. That's 800-864-7749 or visit laborfinders.com. And um, tell you, having good rhythm with your sticks is what you really need, but having your sticks with you is probably what you need to have that rhythm. So um, if you're like me and you sometimes travel and bring your clubs with you or especially sometimes travel and maybe just play one round and it becomes, you know, something you don't want to do, so you rent some set of clubs that are kind of odd or strange to you and mess up your good time, what you need to do is find a better way. And uh, our next guest, fellow by the name of Nick Coleman, the CEO of Shipsticks, he's got a better way for you, and we're going to find out all about it. Uh, Nick, are you with us? I am there. Thank you, Dan. Hey, thank you for joining us. And uh, first of all, I, you're a West Palm Beach company, so you're just up uh, the highway from us down here in Boca Raton. So it's nice to know that uh, somebody is breaking into the golf business and succeeding right from our own backyard. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here down in Florida. It's really one of the the parts of golf everybody wants to be where we already are right that's correct but even that's us right. even us all golfers we like to go someplace different but schlepping clubs is not easy so why don't you explain to us a little bit about what gave you the impetus or the idea to start taking people's clubs from point a and getting them to point b so they don't have to deal with it sure you know it, it's a the concept was really to simplify the way in which people travel and when we launched the company in 2011, it was simultaneously with when airlines were starting to charge exorbitant fees for uh, excess baggage or additional bags. Uh, and we were able to cram down the price of shipping and pass that savings on and those discounts, discounts on to our customers and our consumers that we would offer them an affordable and a palatable way and a, a alternative way to be traveling with your golf clubs and with luggage. Now, the, the, the main focus was to leverage the buying power of the masses, similar to that of Groupon, where you get a mass, a number of people to buy a certain product and they get to buy that product at a discount. You know, it, it, the model is very similar to that of going to a 7-Eleven to buy a Coke versus going to a Costco's or a BJ's where you buy a Coke at 7-Eleven for, you know, $2.19, and if you go to Costco, you can buy a case for $3. And so we, we took that model and applied it to golf bag shipping and decided to pass those savings on to the consumer so that we offered them an alternative way to travel with their golf clubs and also a more affordable way than having to rent clubs. In some instances, renting clubs is more expensive than shipping your clubs both ways. Right, and not to mention, like I said before, I mean, I, I play a very eclectic set of clubs. Uh, I, I use a long putter. I won't anchor it any longer, but I still use one. You can't rent one of those. That's right. But the rental club market has gotten much better, um, but it's still it's not the same thing as playing with your own clubs, right? You know, you can go rent, you know, some new set of tailor-made irons or Titleist irons, but yet you may not get the right shaft. You may not get the right drivers. You may not get the right loss that are associated with it. If you're a taller person, you may need to have longer shafts, and you won't get those options or opportunities, and it actually could ruin your trip. And even if you're not a very serious golfer, uh, but you're an avid golfer, um, most people are comfortable with their own clubs, and you know, older golfers have a tendency to have more hybrids and, and fairway woods in their bags, and the and the rental companies and the and the pro shops in the country don't necessarily offer that. 
Sure, even graphite shafts versus steel shafts. I know, I know I prefer the graphite. They're a little bit lighter. I feel less tired after I've played 18. You put those heavy steel shafts in my hand, and again, it, it, I'm not going to enjoy my round as much. That's right. That's right. It, it really detracts from, from your ability to have fun, and you end up focusing on negativity, which is why, oh, I could have hit that shot a little bit closer had I had my 60-degree wedge as opposed to trying to choke down on a 56. I, I wonder. Reality, we're solving many problems, right? Aside from just the real aggravation associated with traveling with your golf clubs, we're solving an economic problem too, because people don't really go through the mathematics that that's included with the cost of taking your clubs to the airport. So if you and a few buddies are going on a buddy trip to Myrtle Beach, right? You're going to fly in. You're going to pay your thirty to fifty dollars for your baggage fees. Then you're going to rent a car. Well, if it's four of you, you can't rent a sedan, so you're going to have to rent an SUV. And those SUV costs are up another 80 or $100 per day. And that SUV is going to sit in the parking lot at Myrtle or at Pinehurst or wherever it is that you're going for four days mm-hmm. while you guys play your golf. So it's going to tack on another 400 bucks. You know, the other, the other costs that are associated with traveling with your club that people don't think about it is, if you have to get a porter, you have to tip the porter or the guy at the at the check-in, right? It's mm-hmm. proper, it's polite, it's nice. Um, you can you can give them two bucks, you can give them five bucks, whatever it is that you give them. But it's a little more, it's a couple more dollars out of your pocket. So in reality, you're not really adding up the true cost of what it costs to get your clubs to your end destination. You know, I was thinking for a second. I, I I'm sure you've studied this or got some statistics but a place like a pinehurst or a pebble beach where say pebble beach you're paying six hundred dollars to play around a golf and those folks could probably afford uh to rent but i mean can you imagine ruining around a golf a six hundred dollar round of golf at a place like that a once in a lifetime round perhaps that you're playing um they, they must rent a lot of clubs these high-end places though right yeah they do pebble beach is wonderful there they are and it's an unbelievable facility. They have a wonderful relationship with TaylorMade. They can offer you some of the newest TaylorMade irons in a lot of different in a lot of different um, setups. You know, the company actually the the concept and the principle of the company started when me and a couple of the founders took a trip out to Pebble to play Pebble and to play a few other courses in the area. And the airlines lost our bag. <laughs> and at that time, they didn't have the agreements in place that they do currently with the manufacturers, and the rentals that they had were substandard. And one of the one of my friends ended up buying a set of clubs because he said, "If I'm going to pay five hundred ninety-five dollars to st- spend the night here and five hundred dollars to play the golf course and you know all, all these other expenses, then I want to truly enjoy myself. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity." And I'm going to enjoy enjoy it, and make sure it doesn't get ruined by having a uh, what's, what's the right politically correct way of saying this? A, a less than perfect set of golf clubs. Sure, and and again, that's a personal thing because they still could be a high end set of golf clubs, but they're just not right for you. That's right, of, of course, right? You know, you've got you've got your wedges, you've got your putter that you like, you like your grips, you've got your driver, you've got your lofts that are set. You know, sometimes they're fitted, sometimes they're not. But it's really difficult to play with a set of rentals. And on top of that, you don't have your ball marks. You don't have your tees. You don't have balls. You don't have your glove. There's a lot of components to it that people forget. They're like, oh, yeah, I'll just rent a set of clubs. Well, I'm like, okay, well, where are your balls? Oh, I have to buy balls, so that's another $30. Oh, where's your glove? I didn't bring a glove. Okay, that's another $22. What about tees? Hopefully the place gives away the tees. What about a ball mark? Well, sure, I'll buy a a ball mark that says Pebble Beach on it, that's another 15 bucks. Wow. Now on top of your rentals of $100, it just costs you $180 on top of your green fee for the day when you could have shipped your club's round trip for less than 100 Okay, so now that we've established that it's crazy to have to do that, to go and, and rent clubs or, or not have your clubs with you, so why don't you explain a little bit of how this all works when they choose to use ship sticks? So there, there are several ways that it works, right? We operate with probably 3,000 facilities here in the country. So if you belong to a private course, if you play at a resort course or a daily fee course, chances are there's a one in four chance that they work with ship sticks. So you can either do it through the pro shop there, or if you play a, a local municipal course or something of that nature, 
you can call Shipsticks at 561-429-3900, and a customer service representative will answer the phone uh, from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, then they'll have email support from 10 to 6 a.m. Um, where you